During the course of this video, we're going to show you how to set up an AC and DC high pot test, connect a 2550 tester, one of the testers in the 2500 series, to a device under test, also known as a DUT, and run the high pot test. Don't forget to visit our website at www.highpot.com to find out more information on electrical safety testing. First, you'll need to power up your 2550 tester. Check to be sure that the correct input line voltage has been selected on the rear panel, either 115 volts AC or 230 volts AC. You'll also need to insert the remote interlock key into the 9-pin remote input terminal on the rear panel of the 2550. The tester will not output voltage unless the interlock key is properly plugged into the remote input. Connect the power input plug into its socket on the rear panel of the tester. Connect the male end of the plug to the outlet receptacle. Now, turn on the power switch on the front panel of the 2550. Upon power up, the tester will briefly flash the model number and firmware version number. Next, we're going to set up an AC high pot test. Press the set key and the AC LED will illuminate and flash. This indicates that an AC high pot test is currently selected. Press the set key again and the voltage LED will illuminate and flash. Use the up and down arrow keys to edit the AC high pot voltage. The voltage is displayed in kilovolts, or KV. For this example, we will set the test voltage to 1.2 kilovolts, or 1200 volts. When you've changed the voltage to the desired value, press the set key again to accept this value and move on to the next parameter, current. The current LED will illuminate and flash. This value represents the leakage current high limit that you will set for your AC high pot test. Use the up and down arrow keys to edit the leakage current high limit. You can set the high limit for an AC test up to 10 milliamps. When you've changed the current high limit to the desired value, press the set key again to accept this value and move on to the next parameter, dwell. The dwell time is the length of time the tester will apply the program test voltage. Use the up and down arrow keys to set the dwell time. This tester allows you to toggle between three different values for dwell time. 0 seconds, 1 second, or 60 seconds. If the dwell is set to 0, 0.0, the tester will operate in a continuous on mode when the test button is pressed. It will stop when the DUT goes into failure or the manual reset button is pressed. If the dwell is set to 1, the tester will test for 1 second when the test button is pressed. If the dwell is set to 60, the tester will test for 60 seconds when the test button is pressed. When you've changed the dwell time to the desired value, press the set key again to accept this value and move on to the next parameter, ramp. At this point, the ramp LED will be illuminated and flashing. The ramp time is the time the tester will take to reach the full program test voltage. Use the up and down arrow keys to increase or decrease the ramp time. You can set the ramp time up to 999.9 .9 seconds. Now that all the parameters have been set, press the exit key to exit the test mode. The process of setting up a DC high pot test is the same as setting up an AC high pot test. It's important to note that the 2550 tester does not store test settings. If changing your test type to AC or DC from a previous test, please double check all test settings to ensure the proper values. From the test mode screen, press the set key until the AC LED is illuminated and flashing. Then, press the up or down arrow key to change from AC to DC mode. Once DC has been selected, simply press set again and edit the remaining parameter, just as with the AC high pot test. Finally, we're going to show you how to connect the 2550 to a DUT and run the test we have set up. 
To connect the 2550 to the DUT, you're going to need the following accessories. The high voltage lead. The return clip lead. You can also use an optional universal style adapter box instead of the clip leads. First, plug the sheathed black connector of the return lead to the return terminal of the 2550 tester. Now, connect the high voltage lead by plugging the white Alden style connector into the HV terminal on the 2550. Once all of these connections have been made, you can now connect your DUT. To connect to the DUT using the clip leads, clip the high voltage lead to the mains conductors of the DUT. In this case, we're shorting the line and neutral wires, which are the black and white wires, to the high voltage lead. Next, connect the return lead to the chassis of the DUT. This allows for a return path for the leakage current so the tester can measure leakage through the insulation of the DUT. If you're using the universal style adapter box instead of the clip leads, connect the adapter box to the return and HV terminals of the 2550. To connect the DUT, simply plug the DUT's three-prong cord into the universal adapter box. Close the DUT enclosure door, stand back and push the test button to run your test sequence. You can also view the voltage, leakage current value, and dwell timer during the high pot test. Simply press the exit key while the test is running. The LED on the left hand side of the display will toggle between voltage, current, and dwell. Once your test has completed, Press the reset button to get the tester back into an idle state.